Hi guys, welcome to a, another episode of Rock Bottom Airsoft. It's good to see you all again. If this is your first visit with me, I'm glad you've dropped by. Uh, if you've been enjoying my series of videos, as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting a new video out every Sunday uh, on various aspects of Airsoft. Hopefully you'll be enjoying them. Uh, if it's your first time here, then again, maybe have a look back through some of my older videos and if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and get something new out every Sunday. And if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like at the end, it helps me out. And if you think there's things I could improve or things you'd like to see in upcoming videos, drop a comment at the bottom. I'll always reply to you and see uh, if we can get something on here that you, you want to see or if there's any improvements I can make. So, moving on to today's video. What we're going to be looking at today well i thought i'd do a bit of a fun video today so today we are going to be looking at 40 millimeter airsoft grenades or moscarts uh various other names you'll see them by so we're going to look at a, a couple of different styles of launcher at a more affordable end of of the airsoft market so you can get into these for for not a lot of money um with regard to, to 40 millimeter grenades how effective they are on the field yeah i don't tend to get a lot of people with these uh, but for the amount of fun you get there's nothing really compares they're great fun they're a bit of a talking point um i just think they're awesome you can have some really good fun with them you can have some funny moments i've run around the corner before and had one of these pointed at me and it, it does give you quite the scare so what have we got? We've got two different types of launcher if you're looking at uh, running 40mm airsoft grenades. This is a Sima. It's a pistol launcher. You can pick one of these up for around about 40 British pounds. Uh, so not very expensive at all. It's a full steel construction apart from the pistol grip. That is the only bit of polymer on it but it's good quality polymer. It's a, a good quality piece of kit. It's simplicity in itself to use. Uh, basically, you pop that latch at the back, fold the Moscow launcher forward, pop your chosen 40 millimeter grenade in there, and then close her up. And that's you good to go. That's, that's ready to fire a 40 millimeter. It has got a safety catch on there. At the moment, it's on safe, so the trigger is blocked. It won't activate, but you can flick that down, and now we can fire. You can see how it works when we look at the grenades, but you'll notice it pushes that pin. If you can make that out on camera, it pushes that in and that fires the 40 millimeter grenade. So that's one option. If you're looking to get a 40 millimeter grenade launcher, you can get one of those for about 40 pounds. If you don't want to have to carry a separate piece of kit to fire a 40 millimeter grenade, there, there is another option. You can go with a, an under barrel or under slung grenade launcher. This particular one is by Newprol. Uh, it's quite a short one. Uh, it limits the options for, for the size of 40 millimeter grenade you can use. But as you can see, this just attaches onto a, a 20 millimeter rail. So if you have an AR based rifle or any based rifle that has an under 20 millimeter rail, you know, such as a quad rail, it's got one along the bottom. You can basically mount this to any 20 millimeter rail. So you mount it on the top if you'd really like, but you you know the, the normal way you see them is mounted underneath. Again, very simple to use. I'll press this button here. That allows you to slide it forward. You pop your your Moscart or 40 millimeter airsoft grenade into the into the chamber there, slide it back, and press the button to lock it in place. And then that's you good to go. That's underneath your, your primary. And you can run around all day with it. If you want to fire it, it has got a safety, which is just a slide safety. This button is what activates the grenade. You slide that through, and then you're good to fire. You push that in. So you basically just press that with your thumb. That activates your grenade. You can pick one of these up uh, for around about 40 to 45 pounds. Uh, again, as always, I'll put links in the description where you can get either of these launchers. So that's basically the, the, the two launchers that I would use. There's loads of variety. There's different pistol style launchers. There's different underslung style launchers. You could even get standalone launchers. But for an affordable way to get into 40 millimeter airsoft grenades, the, uh, the cheapest options I've found are, are these. Um, these are very affordable, both full steel construction, both good quality. And they work. Uh, I've used both of these items in the field and I've never had any problem with them. 
So what else will you need? Well, you probably figured yourself it, you're gonna need a 40 millimeter grenade. So let's pop the launchers to one side just for now, because we're not gonna be using those just at the moment. So this is a 40 millimeter grenade, uh, airsoft grenade. This is what they call a shower grenade. Now, as you saw on the, the pistol and the underslung one, they basically just have a plunger that presses and all it does is press that there, which opens the valve. These all work off gas. Green gas is absolutely fine. Um, basically, you charge the grenade through the valve at the top, similar to charging up a, a, a gas magazine on a gas blowback or a pistol. Um, you, you just basically charge the gas on there. I'll show you that in a moment. And then once it's charged up and loaded with BBs, when you press this valve at the back here, this, this, this activation button, that's going to fire out the gas and, and all the BBs along with it. Uh, hopefully down the barrel and uh, hopefully towards your target. Now that's what's known as a shower grenade. Uh, so that's one type. And this one particular one is a new prol shower grenade. You can pick grenades up for, for varying amounts of money. It depends on the length of them. It depends on the size of them. Uh, how many BBs they hold. You'll see some hold more than others, especially in these shower grenades. Uh, I tend to always go with this size, go with the realism. Um, but uh, you know, you're looking at between 20 and 40 pounds. The other type of grenade that I actually prefer, that I tend to use, is this type of grenade. Uh, these grenades are, to be honest, they're easier to prime and I've found them more effective. Now on this one, you've got your gas valve on, on the back here. And you obviously prime the gas, it still works the same way. You've still got a button here that your launcher will press and that will fire the, the gas out along the BBs. But on this one, you basically just fill this chamber up with BBs, uh, pour them in until the, to the top, and then it also will come with some of these rubber bungs. Once your grenade is primed and filled up with, with BBs, you basically fasten the, the rubber bung over the top and push it in. That holds it tight so the BBs don't fall out, and, uh, and that's it, good to go. What I, I would always say is, is it's perhaps best to, to load these up with, with BBs, then prime them with gas if you can, because obviously you don't want, in this one particularly, you don't want to be looking at it while you're filling it up with gas. Always wear your eye protection when you're filling these grenades, just in case you, you happen to catch the valve on the bottom and it goes off. Uh, make sure you, you, you do that in a safe manner. Uh, you don't want to have any accidents with these things. Uh, but that's that's basically it, the simplicity themselves. Pour the BBs in, put the bungle over the end and it's good to go. Obviously, you know, you then need to gas it up. But uh, once it's gassed up and the BBs are in there, it's it's good to go. And, and as I say, for, for mounting these in your launcher of choice, you know, very simple. That's it. It's good to go. And the good thing with the Simon one is you know it's loaded because you can actually see the shell in there and can take the shell out so that's the the Simon loading that's very simple and the underslung one obviously you slide it forward pop your shell in that'll be on your rifle or whatever you've chosen to mount it to and then once your shell's in you are you are good to go um, so yeah very simple very affordable and great fun. Uh, all I can say is, is that the fun you can have with these is, is epic. Uh, they're made for great photos, great bit of video. It's always a shock on your opponent's face when you when you let one of these off. They go with a bit of a bang, obviously because the gas coming out. And shower BBs everywhere. But like I said earlier, effectiveness on the field, you have to be pretty close to get anybody with one. But it, you know, it's just really the fun of them. They're great fun. They're great to have in your kit and it doesn't cost you a great deal of money to get into and the most expensive thing is is buying these 40 millimeters so with that in mind uh, if, if you did fancy one of these obviously you know you you, you get your grenade get your your, your, your launcher uh, whichever launch you decide to go with i quite like the the pistol launcher i just think that's pretty cool the only other things that you, you probably have already is you'll need some some bbs i would recommend with bbs you, you can get away with cheap BBs on these Moscart launchers, um, you know, I mean, your distance will vary, but uh, not by a great deal. I wouldn't tend to use your more expensive BBs in these. I certainly won't be putting sniper BBs in them. Uh, I would tend to go with cheaper BBs. If you've got any BBs that come free with a replica, 
or any cheap ones lying about that you don't tend to use or ones you don't like using in your replicas they're the ones to use in your 40 millimeter grenades because obviously you know you're, you're not talking a long barrel we're not going for ultimate accuracy it's a it's a shower grenade um for the Moscow shower grenades like these a speed loader is obviously going to be handy for for putting the bbs down these individual holes with these you just pour them in and obviously you're going to need some green gas uh, any green gas will do the same gas that you use in your pistols will be absolutely fine that's one thing to note these particular ones like this and you'll see them advertised if they're capable of it this one is capable of taking co2 if it's a co2 capable grenade it's going to go with a lot bigger bang and it's going to have a lot more pressure behind it so the the effect will actually be slightly better um they will say on them normally if the co2 i wouldn't use co2 in one of these these aren't rated for co2 these are only rated for green gas uh, so only use co2 if they're rated for it these ones are again i'll put a link of, of this one in the description a little bit more expensive than one of these uh, but again it's co2 capable much easier to load uh, you can get replacements for the red rubber bungs for it or whatever color bung you want um, but another option that I've seen people do, I've not tried it myself yet, is you can just put a bit of, of masking tape over the end to hold the BBs in place and, and the effect, maybe not quite as effective, but it, it'll still work. Uh, so yeah, so th those are all the items you need to be able to run one of these, if you want to run it as a sidearm or just as a bit of a novelty. But like I say, for me, for £40 for a launcher that's full metal, and then 20 to 40 pounds for one grenade to get you started you might want to collect more after a while uh, it, it's not a lot of money to get you into them and they are great fun not mega effective but really good fun i've had some good fun with these in the field all these have been used in the field never let me down these ones not as effective as these ones um, i definitely recommend these ones over the shower grenades but you know they're all still great fun it's great fun putting them in and out of there uh, so what, what we'll do now is is uh, maybe we'll prime one of these up and get it ready and uh, and then we'll look to uh, to fire one and then you can see the effect of, of, of what happens with them okay so I'll come back to you in a moment okay so welcome back so let me prepped now uh, for loading up these uh, these grenades um, like I was saying before with the shower grenade it's quite simple you load it similar to loading a uh, I've already loaded a couple of chambers here, but you, you load it similar to a pistol magazine, you just force the BBs in with your speed loader and uh, they will sit in there, as you can see I've got BBs all over the place here doing this. So that's uh, that's a few of the chambers loaded, I'm not going to fully load it because we're only doing a test here, but you would load each of them the same, go around with your speed loader until it's fully loaded and then that's full of BBs. With this one, again, much simpler, you just pop the BBs in. You don't have to use a speed loader for it, you can just pour them in, but I've got BBs in this speed loader, so I'll use it. So you pop the BBs into the chamber, don't fill it all the way to the top, just fill it to where the red bung is gonna sit flush in the top there. Um, and then you pop this red bung in to hold the BBs in place. So there you go. Now when you tip it up, they're not going to fall out. You can put that in a pouch, ready to go. Same with this one. Um, in theory, I found that a few of them drop out, but there's all rings in the top of these that, that hold the BBs in place rather than a cap. The next thing that you need to do is fill up with gas. Um, with this one, you've got the valve on the bottom. So just same as a pistol. That's now primed and ready to go so that's why i've got my safety glasses on and um, we don't want to to have any accidents okay so i'm going to be using the uh Simon pistol launcher to start with we'll start with the uh, shower grenade we load it in close up the breech take it off safe and you can see the effect. As you can hear, it was quite a loud bang. We get a few BBs shoot out when we're finished. Open the breech. Remove the 40mm. Okay, now we'll go with the CO2 powered grenade. All primed and ready to go with green gas. You can use CO2 or green gas. So again, 
We'll just load it into the breech. Close up the breech. Make sure we're latched in, which we are. Safety is off. So now, let's see what that is. This should be a louder bang. Now, as you can see, much more effective. So, we'll go back inside. Okay, so as you can see, two different effects. Um, both very good. Uh, this goes with a bit of a pop, this goes a bit more of a bang. Again, with CO2, it'd be even louder. Um, I prefer these ones just for simplicity of use. I, I like the fact that the you can just pour the BBs in. The red bungs, obviously they, they disappear in the game, so you're gonna get more of them or try the tape method over the top. I like the fact that they look pretty realistic as a 40 millimeter grenade as well. And I like the fact that you fill up with gas from the rear so it's pointing away from you when you're filling it up it's not pointing at you so yeah i really like those ones these ones are still great fun um you lose a few bbs when you turn them upside down uh that can that can be a problem especially when you're running around they're in a pouch you end up with your pouch full of bbs but again they still go with a pop and they still can be great fun on the field. Eh? I love these things. I think they're great fun. Now, as you notice, that that that's now stuck in that button. Uh, before you use it again, just make sure you pop it out just by pressing it and make sure it's flush with the base of the 40 millimeter, and that way it'll hold the gas. Because otherwise, you haven't reset it. You try and put gas in, it's just going to come shooting out, uh, which you don't want. So to wrap up, it's a great way to get a bit of extra kit uh, for your airsoft. Have some great fun for not a lot of pounds sterling um, get yourself a launcher 45 pounds roughly 40 pounds a grenade you get one of them 20 to 40 pounds you know, you know you, you've got enough with one to get you started if you just want to have something to go pop in the game and then as you go along you can collect more and more of these 40 millimeter grenades and there is a vast variety of them as i say i'll put a link to these two particular grenades and these launchers but if you have a look into the, the 40 millimeter grenade world in Airsoft, there are loads of variations. Lots of things that I would like uh, to give a try, and maybe I will in future videos. Uh, but for now, that is the affordable way of getting into a 40 millimeter grenade. A couple of points is, is that you want to look after these like anything else. At the end of the day, just put a dab of oil onto your valves, make sure they're, uh, they're not going to dry up. I'll do another video in the future where we take one of these grenades apart um, and show you all of the different uh, O-rings that are in them that we, we should oil up. Um, as a, you know, as a, as a kind of semi-regular maintenance, you, you should be doing it on a maybe a, every, every other month or something if you're using them regularly to keep them oiled up and keep them working well for you. But they're pretty reliable. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with them. So if you, if you have any other questions about 40mm airsoft grenades or if you have any comments about this video or anything you'd like to ask me, drop a comment below and let me know. Uh, you can always check me out on the Facebook page as well uh, and also I'll be putting pictures and photos on Instagram as well, all under rock bottom airsoft. So get, get, drop me a line on, on Facebook, I'll, I'll always try to get back to you on there. Uh, but other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll drop another one with you on Sunday on a different subject, and I'll hope to see you next time. <laughs>